Hello, it's about half past one in the afternoon. It's a midweek day today. Today has pretty much been at my desk working stuff so far. And then I did some cleaning of the kitchen, doing the washing up, sorting the dishwasher, cleaning the stove, and I just noticed I've missed a bit. My daughter's here at the moment. She's got a friend coming for a sleepover and she's coming at half two. So it's half one now, so an hour till she comes. So I'm just kind of tidying the house up a bit in readiness for that. I need to do some vacuuming. Hmm, what is that sock doing there? It's not mine, I hasten to add. There's the sick bed. My daughter's just gone upstairs, actually. She's been lying here, she's not very well. I got ill at her age as well, like really ill. And I had just started my first job. I'd got a job in Summerfield. I'd been trying for ages to get a job in a shop and I didn't have any experience, but they were just sufficiently desperate for staff that they took me on. And I did a couple of days, and it might have been two to four days or something. And I got glandular fever and I was in bed for weeks. And I don't know how much weight I lost, but I was, very skinny by the end of that. I couldn't do a thing for so long. I remember just lifting my hand up and just going in bed, you know, horizontal. That was bad times. So I appreciate a friend coming over today because I need to go out overnight tonight. I've got a rehearsal with my boyfriend and Dan and after that, it's just gonna be too late to travel back. So that'll be good. She won't be on her own. While I'm at it, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Oltenic for sending me that cordless vacuum cleaner. It is the Oltenic U12 Vesla cordless vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. And they're actually on sale at the moment. The sale is on till the 24th. They originally retailed at $219.99 and they are now currently, if you use my code, which is gonna appear here on the screen, Imo U12 VAC. If you use that code you get 10 pounds off and also on the amazon buying page bit there's like a little box i'll overlay it on screen now so you can see it and if you click on that you'll get even more money off which will bring the price down to 128.99 so there we are so big thanks again to them for sending me that i'm doing bins now it's all happening here i'll tell you what when you get a bit of a stretch We have curbside collections here, but when we were in Lisbon, we were in an apartment and there was like a communal bit by the door with bins for recycling. And I think they were emptied nightly, I think. Well, I'm not sure, but there was always an L of a hullabaloo outside about one o'clock in the morning. I always noticed that when I lived in Lisbon in the 90s, the bin men would come in the middle of the night and make a heck of a racket. Uh, anyway, it's all different, isn't it? And also in Lisbon, they didn't have one for glass. You had to go into the streets, put them in bottle banks. But when I used to live there, all the recycling was on the street. Like you'd just take your bag out, but now they, this was in the apartment. So that was a change that I noticed. Just chuck my bags back in there. That is all wet down there. I thought I had a leak. I was like, oh no, but it's fine. I just sloshed water over the top of the sink. It's all fine. I'm going to make a coffee. I'm not hungry enough for lunch yet. So I'm going to make a coffee and I'm going to practice down in the salon, my flip practice, and I'll just take the coffee with me and sip it occasionally. And I'm going to do a vocal warm up because I restarted that yesterday because I had a big break from that. But I have got a gig in which I'm singing on Friday and a rehearsal in which I'm singing tonight. So I'm going to get back into it. Time to practice then. I've done my vocal warm up and the friend has arrived. I've just turned the backing track off now and I can hear two voices out there. Wonder what she thought of my lip trills. <laughs> Doing that all the way up, chromatically. <laughs> oh dear, anyway, I can do some flute now. Okay, it's lunchtime, it's actually five to four. It's really late. These last couple of days, I haven't fancied lunch until hours after lunchtime, so I'm just going with the flow. I've got loads of leftover bits and bobs in the fridge. There's one from Friday, I'm just gonna throw that in the bin, unfortunately. It was a very delicious little curry concoction I made myself with chickpeas, but no, I'm not gonna risk that one. But I'll see what's there and then top it up with something else. The girls have actually gone out. Okay, so there's not as much as I thought. That's mashed potato, cheesy mash that I made last night. I was feeding three people last night, with my boyfriend and my daughter and I, and lunch as well. He came in for lunch. So that was nice, but anyways, there's a little bit of bolognese stuff. I think I film myself making that as the corn stuff. So there's that, there's that, and I think I'll just do some scrambled eggs with it, to be honest. Ironically, oh. <laughs> Ironically, as soon as I've eaten this, pretty much, I'm gonna have to start cooking because I'm gonna cook some food to take with us. 
tonight. This will do nicely for now though. Well that was nice, the problem was I didn't want to get up again after I sat down but I eventually dragged myself out of my seat so I'm cooking the next meal already even though I just ate the last one which is just weird. I'm going to try these, they are gluten free and vegan. I think they were £3 in Tesco, it's ravioli. So I'm going to cook those up, I'm just going to sauté some of these and do creme fraîche and whatever else I decide to put in as well and pack it away to take with me. I'm heading off to meet the other half now, I've got the dinner at my feet. I'm not very hungry though, I must admit, I ate about four and I'll be meeting him, I don't know, a little bit after six, so, oops. I forgot to vlog the food, we're having a car picnic. And we're steaming the car up as well, look! <laughs> oh, we can say that again for the camera if you like. This is so delicious. Yeah, yeah, I might need to caption that, that was a bit, <laughs> bit mouthfully. This it's... is so delicious. <laughs> Thank you. We've eaten that, the light's going. I was rather hoping for a walk because we're early you see because my bus was really early but the next one would have been late for rehearsal um, but it's just starting to rain and it's going dark it looks lighter on camera believe me so we're just going to go in Mountain Warehouse and have a walk around there it's quiet in here at this time in the evening we didn't know if it would be open while we're in here I was just thinking we could have a little look at some of the waterproof gear for walking because we want to go walking and we want to commit to a date of going to walks but then it rains <laughs> so if we can just go rain or shine that means we can actually commit these are 29.99 in a sale they're ladies i don't think they're outer ones i think we just wear them instead but they're nice and thin and they're very lightweight my friend mick from the Kaylee band will be able to advise me on waterproof gear because he goes walking a lot he's a real hardened hiker this is probably a bit sad but i was just saying to ib off camera that i get a pang when i see children's clothes in places like this now because i haven't got a child anymore you know she's all grown up and it's like oh this, this moment of grief, you know. Go around the bend of those trousers. These are over trousers, spray women's waterproof over trousers black. They're £29.99. Now I want to know the difference, right? Because these are downpour women's waterproof trousers as opposed to spray. So what's the difference? Are these like completely waterproof and they start to seep through after a while if it gets really downpoury? I do not know. These are downpour ones as well. I'm not going to get anything today, but just price them up, really. Oh, I've got extreme downpour women's over trousers, $79.99. You know, like Packer Max. They've got kind of Packer trousers. Um, some of them are Max and um, some of them are trousers. They're very, very light. That's £21.99. But I be just wondering if if they're so thin and light, would you know you sit on a sharp rock or something to eat a sandwich and the next thing you've got a big rip in your bum? <laughs> well, not your bum, but, but you know, the seat of your trousers. They've got these waterproof rucksack rain covers. $6.99 down from $11.99. They're tiny, they're so lightweight. I've got one for my rucksack and then I call it my bag's shower cap. Oh, that's a medium and that's a mini. Oh, no wonder it's so small. That's a small $7.99. But I like coming in places like this because <laughs> you find things to look at that you didn't even know had been invented. I just popped to the loo. And can I just say, this is a really random notice. Please step on the carpet. Got to. I mean, what are you going to do? Like tiptoe around the edge, like really daintily. It's not much room. We've rocked up to the studio and Dan has gone to make us a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> IB is tuning his ukulele sometime later. I'm on tea duty. They're in there practicing something I really just don't need to practice. So I just need to out to make tea. Which we'll just drink while we're rehearsing, you know. Swig occasionally. There's a radio on in this kitchen, so I've sneaked out there to talk to you. I'm trying not to get copyright strike. I'm having tea. IB's having white coffee. Dan is having black coffee. Look, he's got his big D for Dan mug. is done. And mine. My geni ya, my geni geiliog, my geni gawan felen fochog. My geni ya, my geni geiliog, my geni gawan felen fochog. My geni fancy bawr yaw ni de gari pet kaw ni lon is my gani fancy bow yaw ni to carry peck how ni long
having fun doing that again. Hello, it's about 20 to midnight. I've just got back to my boyfriend's place. We had a good rehearsal. Uh, nothing to report much about it, just it's very average. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a like if you liked it. And here's the playlist of other videos from me in case you'd like to watch them. See you in the next one. Bye!